welcome to another research tutorial from Sturmpanzer.com. In this video, we're going to go over an online resources for downloading digitized documents. So a lot of archives have gotten into digitizing their documents, their records, and making them available online. Uh, the German Federal Archives have done just that. And so we're going to review the page that is available for you to download uh, documents they have digitized. So if we go to their website, it is invenio.bundesarchiv.de and that will bring you to a login page. You do not have to have an account. I have an account here, but you do not have to have an account. You can just search without logging in. This brings you to our search page and in the signature field you can type in the document set you're looking for. Now we're going to look for RH10 documents. So RH10 is the Inspector General of the Panzer Troops, and we're going to look for document one, document set 140, which is documents for the 1st Panzer Division. And so when your search results come up, what you're looking for is this right here, whether or not there's a digital version of the documents. And if there is, it'll be a link right here. So you would click on that link opens in a new tab and this can sometimes take a while it depends on the time of day I guess how busy the site is and you can maximize it here get you a bigger document to look at and then you can just skip one document at a time until you find the document that you're looking for as you're kind of reviewing them uh, this is a Meldon and we see the date is July of 1943 and if we go on a little bit we will see that there is a Gliederung I'm going to zoom in on this Gliederung so you can kind of see the quality of the scans that they have on here. It's really fantastic. So zoom in there and see the quality there. Great detail. Uh, there's also the ability to look at the documents in a grid so you can load more than one document at a time. Uh, I kind of prefer this method because it allows me to see the documents and then you can kind of scroll as they're loading and you would only click on the ones that you want to see a little closer up. And that way you won't be moving one document at a time for documents that you're not interested in. Also, if you happen to know what page you're looking for, so say you've, you've looked at this before and you want to come back to a page, you kind of made notes on a page you want to look at again, you can come down here to the bottom and you can scroll it across until you get on the page you want, so page 149, and then it's going to load page 149. Now, of course, if you still have it in the grid, it'll load page 149 in the top left-hand corner, and then the rest will flow from there. So um, that's pretty much it. When you're done looking at this particular document set, you can go ahead and close this tab. Now, if you don't know how to download, this is just like any other uh, online images. You can right-hand click and say, save image as, and that'll save the image. You do not have to see the image in a larger size in order to save the full resolution. In other words, it doesn't matter whether it's, you're viewing it as a full image on the screen or you're viewing one of these small thumbnails, you're going to get the full image uh, when you save it. So you'll get the high res version when you save it. And this, yeah, just do a save at, image as and that'll save the document. If you're ready to do another search, you would simply close this tab, which closes that document, go back to search. And then you can just pick another document set that you want to search for. There's 141, and now it has a digital version. Click on that, and then the 141 document set will be loaded. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.